What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys the process of how I ceramic coated my car with uh, C quartz. So I'm basically going to be running through the process of how I did it a few days ago. It's not hard, you just need to know what you're doing. Um, in case you guys don't know, um, ceramic coating is basically uh, a glass layer that's added over your paint. So it goes on as a liquid and um, it hardens up and then turns into a hard glass layer over your paint and it's very hydrophobic and um, nothing sticks on it like water, dust, dirt, etc. It just flies right off whenever you go and wash the car. So it makes washing your car a breeze. I'm going to be showing you guys the process of how I did it. If you guys have any questions, just put them down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you guys. Alright guys, so I got the car, got the front of the car uh, ceramic coated. So I'm going to do a portion for you guys. Basically show you guys the process of how it gets done. So this door panel hasn't been done yet. So I'm using C quartz. Told you guys, C quartz uh, ceramic coat. When you open that box, it's gonna give you little suede applicator pads right there, and then you just put throw one over this orange block they give you. So I got the pad right here, and then you're just gonna basically get the bottle and pour a line basically streak of a line over it so you want to close the bottle before after every time you open it and put it on there because you don't want it to start dry, drying up because it'll start drying up on the cap and crystallizing so yeah now I'm going to show you guys the process so get your pad here and you just want to go in straight lines all the way through so I'm doing the door panel and then once you get to the end just go down and then straight through again you guys can see it you probably can see the streaks right there Chris hash pattern so I went all the way down like this now I'm just gonna go down like this just to blend it in good so yeah car pro our pro uh, ceramic coating is real good it's like around 60 bucks and I mean it's, it's worth it and let me just finish this yeah, and then as you guys can see I will start streaking up and you can see like the rainbows I'll start making like a rainbow and that means that it's drying up so it's time to be buffed off and you just get a microfiber towel and just buff it off let's just get a clean towel coating dries up and it basically turns into like a glass crystal layer so yeah you want to get it get those towels thrown away so yeah it comes off pretty easily you just want to make sure there's no streaks so yeah that's basically pretty much the process I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the car and then I'll show you guys that test of how the water just runs straight off of it. All right, let's get back to you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, so here's the finished product of the car. You guys can see it's like basically a mirror. Came out very nice and impressed with the C quartz. 
Um, yeah, now I'm gonna hit it with some reload. All right, guys. So as I said, I was gonna hit it with some Car Pro reload. So it's basically just another uh, gloss sealant layer, just basically like ceramic coating that um, just basically adds an extra layer of protection for six months on top of the ceramic coating from uh, Carpro, which is C cords, uh, which is last up to one to two years. So this adds an extra six months of protection on top of that. So yeah, just sprayed that down. Just basically sprayed on there, sprayed on the car and just buff it straight off. No waiting time. And um, yeah, let me show you guys, give you guys a test of uh, some water. All right guys, so I'm gonna hit this fender with this water bottle right here. You guys can see the water just rolls right off. You can see some trickles. I'll give you guys. It just falls straight off. And then it just beads up. But um, yeah, I mean that's about it. If you guys want like a detailed step-by-step -step process, um, guys can comment down below hopefully you guys enjoyed that's gonna be a wrap for the video if you guys have any questions like i said just put them down below and i'll go ahead and answer them for you guys um, if you guys have any suggestions um, drop them down below if any video ideas you guys have got basically all the muscle parts um, in our group for you guys uh stay tuned to the channel and uh, subscribe really helps us out stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out